What's up guys, welcome back to another fitness education video where we're not just doing exercises, but we're talking about how to make fitness more realistic for you as the busy professional. We're all super, super busy with our everyday lives and so making sure that we are incorporating um, different aspects to improve our health and our wellness and our well-being is what we are striving to do and here to do and making it a little bit easier without spending three to four hours in the gym. Nobody really wants to do that. But what we're going to talk about today and what we're going to dive into is accountability partners. Uh, having an accountability partner and how does it benefit us in the long run? Why is it important to talk to somebody about your goal? Um, and why do we need that interaction in general? There is a phrase that it's like, I hear it all the time that it says something along the, li along the lines of do things privately and wow them later or something like that. But when it comes to fitness and exercise, this is probably one of the hardest things to stay consistent with and strive to hit your goals with. So having an accountability partner, living in isolation is probably not the most ideal thing to go through. You want to talk to somebody about um, what you want to achieve and how you want to achieve it and so that they can keep you accountable. That is what accountability partners is. Um, accountability partners are like your personal cheerleaders and coaches all rolled into one. When you're having a bad day, they're there to motivate you, they're there to support you and help you keep on track when the going gets tough. Because it does get tough, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes there are just days and weeks where you just don't feel like exercising, you don't feel like eating well, you rather just have some obscene amount of food um, or you rather just give all up and just be like, I'm content with where I am. If you're content with where you are, that's fine. But if that's not true and that's not realistic, then let's get an accountability partner and how do we keep you motivated? Okay, so let's talk about how having an accountability partner can help you reach your goals faster than not having them. Okay, first off, having someone to hold you accountable means that you're more likely to stay committed to your goals. Um, when you know you have to report your progress to someone, you're less likely to slack off or make excuses because you do not want to disappoint them. Whether they are actually going to be disappointed by you or not, you don't want to disappoint them. And so when you when they ask you, hey, did you go to the gym today? Or hey, did you track your foods? Whatever it might be, you're more likely to be honest with them. And you don't want to say, no, I didn't do any of those things. You want them to be proud of you. And so you want to make sure that um, they're helping you stay committed and you're less likely to give an excuse. Secondly, your account accountability per partner provides valuable feedback and perspectives that you may not have seen. They see you from a different point of view than how you see yourself. We will always be our harshest critics. We will always be uh, the meanest to ourselves. Um, we will always um, let ourselves down, basically. And so a accountability partner can offer insights that you not, may not be able to see on your own. They can help uh, course correct you and help you stay focused on what actually matters. So all that negative self-talk that you tell yourself, and trust me, I tell myself the same negative things, right? We all suffer from this. I'm going to be 100% 100 honest and transparent with you. We all have negative self-talk. And so by having an accountability partner or a coach, whatever you might say, right, helps you to tell yourself the positive things and they can help you keep focus on what's important and remind you of how hard that you are working and all of the great things that you are doing without self-sabotaging you. Cool? And then the third thing, right, your accountability partner can make the journey towards your goals a lot more fun and enjoyable. And so that means you can either like, hey, let's go grab coffee and we can talk about these things. Again, you know how I feel about grabbing coffee. Um, or you can go grab a workout together. You can work out together. Again, if you're on different fitness levels, that's fine. It can challenge you. They say work out with somebody who is fitter than you, right? It helps to push you to be a little bit better. So it's okay. Um, or they're just simply there to cheer you on. Um, and then really just having someone 
by your side throughout this process makes all the difference, especially when things are rough and things are hard because that will happen and it will be true. Um, so those are the three top things, right? Um, you're more likely to stay committed to your goals. They'll give you valuable feedback and perspectives that you didn't see. And then they can make your fitness journey much more enjoyable. So how do you find the right accountability partner? First thing, right? You want to look for someone who shares similar goals and values with you. Don't ask for an accountability partner with someone who hates going to the gym, hates exercising, hates meal prepping, hates is the opposite of all the things that you want to do. Don't find that person. No offense to that person, whether they're your best friend or not. They're probably not your most ideal accountability partner. Find someone who understands what you're trying to do and will be invested in your process and in your journey. Second, make sure your accountability partner is reliable and committed. It is the worst when you're super, super committed to having a goal, but the person that you are accountable to is ghosting you ghosting you doesn't fall like it doesn't respond to text doesn't respond to calls none of those things you want somebody who's going to show up consistently for you and hold you to the to the promises that you made yourself okay and finally just be clear about your expectations and boundaries from the start with this person Communi communication is key in any kind of partnership so you want to make sure that you're on the same page on how you're going to support each other so it can also be like, hey, we both are doing this thing. We're both trying to lose weight or trying to build muscle or we're both just trying to stay consistent with our exercise and that's fine. You wanna be able to hold each other accountable and that's great, but you wanna have clear expectations of what you're expecting this person to provide for you and what this person is expecting of you if you both are accountability partners with each other. Does that make sense? Are we clear? Cool. Um, so communication is key. So again, when going into finding an accountability partner, can it be your best friend? Sure. Can it be your mom? Yes. Can it be your dad? Can it be your brother? Can it be your cousin? Can it be a teammate? It can be any of those people. But you want to make sure that they fall into these same guidelines, that they completely understand what you're trying to do, right? And they are willing to hold you accountable to those things. My best recommendation is this is where my like shameless plug for getting a coach or getting a trainer comes into it, right? We will sit down. So as your trainer, as your coach, we will sit down with you and talk to you about what you want to achieve. We will get into the emotional reasons why you want to achieve those things. Why are they important? Why are they significant to you? And so now we've made that connection with you. And then we talk about what specifically you want to have change. How do you imagine um, your life being different if you achieve these goals, right? We get into all of that. I have you paint this picture. I got to see it. And then now that I know why you want to achieve your goals, what goals you want to achieve, I'm going to hold you accountable because one, you're paying me to do so. But two, I am emotionally connected with you as far as making sure that these goals that you have are now these goals that I want you to have as well. My passion for personal training and for fitness go beyond just exercises. They go into you as the person and making sure that you feel like you have a support system in your corner. And a support system is huge. And an accountability partner is that support system. And so if you're like, I do want to go at this alone, I don't want to talk to my family or friends about it, then that's where I would come in as a coach, right? Is I want to walk alongside you throughout this process. And so an accountability partner doesn't have to be a friend or a family member. It can be a hired coach. As long as that you like, person again, personalities match, communication is there, right? You are, guys are on the same page about what you want to achieve um, and creating a plan to achieve those then your coach or your trainer can be your accountability partner. All right, so there you have it, right? The power of a kind of accountability partner. Why is that so hard to say? Um, so whether you're trying to get in shape, start a business, or learn a new skill, having someone by your side makes all of the difference in trying to achieve your goals. So go ahead and find that accountability partner. Um, if you are still looking for one, I would love to talk with you about what that could look like if you need one. Um, I 
also know plenty of people who would love to connect you with somebody else as well um, if you're still looking for that. But find an accountability partner, create that support system, and start crushing your goals. All right, start working on them. Start creating that healthier lifestyle so that your goals are first and foremost. Let's stop sitting around, right? Let's start making some changes and start creating healthier habits. So again, I'm super grateful for each one of you that watch these videos that continuously come back every week um, and see what kind of education content that I have for you. Um, if you watch this pretty regularly, make sure you hit that subscribe button, share with your friends and family, tell the world, but hit that subscribe button that tells me to keep doing what I'm doing um, and creating more tips, tricks, and education in regards to fitness for you as the busy professional. So I will check in with you guys and see you guys in the next video.